Well, hello friends and reloaders. Welcome back to the channel. This is the third video in the build series for the CS 7.2 case sorter. And in this video, we're going to cover the assembly of the electronics box. And the electronics box is the element which houses the main board for CS 7.2. And this is new for this project. And um, also we're going to cover the, the, the mounting point for this as well. So let's dive right in. Okay, in front of us we have all the parts that we need for the electronics build. And um, there's only a few screws for this build, so this should be fairly easy. The case we first want to check, make sure we've removed all the supports. Um, this one has a few jagged edges, but for the sake of this build we'll carry on. On the lid, one side has to be countersunk meaning that there's one side that's flat, the holes are flat on this side, and then on the other side, we might want to just ream those out, depending on how good your print was. This print didn't come out very well for some reason. So once we get those out, we want our screws really to sit flush in that plate. Now we're just going to take our board and seat it down into the box. I usually start with the uh, pushing the board so that the power controls are coming through the appropriate holes and they're flush and then you can kind of push it over until all the holes line up. Once you have that, now we just have to install the M3 by 6 panhead Phillips screws. So you'll get a bag in the kit and we're going to need six of these. Excuse me, I think there's seven of these. So I'll just quickly screw these in, in high speed mode. If you want to use the screwdriver, don't use a, an electric drill on this. You'll definitely over torque them. And the, they're plastic risers, so you just want them to be somewhat tight. They don't have to be extremely tight. Just finger tight on these guys. To where the board doesn't rattle around if you shift the box. So now that I've checked all of those, next we just have to install the fan. And the fan can be installed in either orientation. In this case, I'm going to install it as an exhaust fan. And so I will use this shorter set of screws. The fan plugs in here. And you want to make sure, you know, as you're looking at your lid, that you've installed it correctly. The easiest way is the countersink uh, holes are on top and that uh, latch hole aligns with the hole in the case. Also look at how the wire is going to run on the fan. So you can orient it a few different ways. I tend to like to, to turn it sideways like this because I feel like this gives the best approach. So we need to take four of these M3, nut, or M3 nuts And I have my four M3 by 14 countersunk screws that I'm going to use here. I usually start by just putting one in that kind of holds the fan in place. If you're installing this as a uh, intake fan rather than exhaust, you won't have the, you'll have to use the longer screws because you won't have the recessed holes. The recessed holes will be facing the, the vent. So you'll need the longer screws for that. I'm still on the fence as to whether intake or um, exhaust is better. I will leave that to the community to figure out later. Uh, at this point, the default orientation of the fan is as an exhaust fan. Now all we have to do is plug that fan in and put our lid on. You'll notice there's clips on the fan, just make sure you put it in the right direction. Also this connector is labeled plus and minus, so red should go to plus, typically. Now 
if you look at the lid, there's a there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. So you want the fan to sit over the uh, heat sinks. But you'll notice I put the far side in the slot first. And you have to put the fan over the box. So you'll see this here that there's a cutout. So you want to push that cutout all the way to the end and that allows this to flex enough without cracking or breaking the box. If you try to push it in without leveraging that cutout, it's, it's a lot more work and you can break the rails. So the last thing we have to do here is just put our set screw in. Um, the original design had us use a smaller screw so the kit comes with both sizes now. Um, I'm using the longer screw for the locking screw here. And that pretty much concludes the um, setup of the box. There are a couple things. So we have this wire cover. And once you've plugged all your wires in, this cover sort of serves to hide them. So you have one set of wires. Before we do that, we need to put our sticker on. And so the sticker that comes with the kit, or you can actually buy these direct from the store, is, is a latex sticker. Uh, it can be kind of tricky to peel especially if you don't have fingernails. But once we get it peeled, we're just going to line it up. And I usually line it up to the right side, to the first connector on the right. Let's zoom in here a bit so we can get a better view. I line it up on the right and make sure we have it flush. It should sit in that dent in the side of the case, or the recessed area, pretty nice. Then I'll smooth it out from the middle to the sides. Once we have that in place, we'll know where our wires go in our, in our final setup. So there's one more thing that we have to do, which is to put together the actual mount for this. So it's a two-piece mount, and it allows you to install the orientation either horizontal or vertical. I like it to be installed vertical. Um, there's slots in the box that will go horizontal or vertical as well. So for this, we just have one screw that connects the two pieces. So find the orientation that you're going to use. And then you can use one of the M3 by 8 screws, or you can use one of these longer screws. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the M3 by 8 screw to lock this in place. But if for some reason in the build you've used all your M3x8s, you can use um, one of the longer socket head screws that's left over. Now that that's locked in place, we're ready to use it and mount it to the pole. So generally I'll mount the bracket first to the pole and then you can clip the box on it when you're done. Well, that completes the electronics box build. And the next video will be taking this and mounting it to the pole along with everything else and connecting it all up. The links to the whole build series will be in the description of this video. So I'll see you in the next one.